Hey friends! So, I went to lunch this weekend with some lovely people. And one of them brought me samples of ink. So let's watch. That lovely person, said lovely person, is the illustrious, famous and infamous, in certain circles, ink splat herself, Miss Manda B. Boop, 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 boop! Um, so, I have a Homonichi Weeks here. Can you believe? Oh my gosh, like, I'm filming this on this day. Well, I'm pretty sure it's this day. Like, how is that possible? How are we at this point in the year? And if you're seeing through that, don't worry. That's last month's thing. So you're not getting spoilers for this month. I don't even know what's in the bag. So I'm really excited. I also, as of filming this, just watched um, Manda's uh, swatch video for the <gasps> Van Diemen Feline Collection. So I'm wondering. Let's just like grab and not look until it's in our hands. So here I have... Some coloring cards. I've got a paintbrush, my usual steel dip pen, this glass pen, an automatic pen, and some Twitch streams on in the background, including Manda's. <laughs> Zoom in. It's dim here. I'm sorry, this is the light we have. So, I pulled one out. And, oh, okay, wait, I happened to pull out the one ink that I was really hoping she'd give me a sample of. <laughs> Amanda, you're amazing. You know that? Yeah, you know that. You better know that. Oh, I forgot my ink pet. I mean, I didn't forget my ink pet. It was there the whole time. So, up first we have Wearing Gold Juliet. It's a shimmer ink. And how do I do my cards? Oh, I write them at the bottom. Great. This is what happens when I watch her videos. I'm like, wait, how do I do mine? I need to get, I need to change out this and add like this cloth. I'm sorry, that was kind of off the bottom, apologies. And add a, um, like a t-shirt, some kind of scrap like that because we are not having, like the, 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 the uh, metal dip pin is just getting stuck in all those. And apologies for the street sounds. Just think of it as like ASMR. But also, it's been really hot. I don't have air conditioning. Well, I don't have central air. So I have to have the window open right now. Well, it hasn't been really hot. It's been warm. You know, like... I don't know, 80 something today, maybe? And I'm in an upstairs room. It feels like it's hotter than 80 in this room. I should get the thermometer in here so that I can wine appropriately. Or accurately, I mean. We're at the awkward time of day where it feels like it's darker with the window open. So this is Juliet. What does this make me think of? Wistful watermelon, maybe? But I could see some shimmer in there. Beautiful. It seems to, the shimmer seems to really stay in suspension. It looks like it's gold shimmer. Maybe champagne. I feel bad because I didn't have any swatches to bring to Amanda. I mean, samples or anything. But like, You know, what do you, it's Manda. She has almost all the inks. Okay, now, cap. 
I think I drugged through here, so that was great. And next we have... Ooh. Lovely woman. Diamine. Sailor's Warning. This is one of the Reddit inks that I was like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, there was a there was a there was a thing on me. It was a moth. I don't I don't like bugs. Went on pretty lubricated, which is interesting. I think this is oranger than I expected, which is kind of silly because, like, when I when the sky is red, it is a very orangey red. <laughs> How have you been? Friends? I've been better than I had previously. Work is work right now for me. <laughs> and I am finally walking a bit more. I still am not at 100%. I was saying how my I was telling the folks yesterday that my arm is feeling a lot better, and then it was hurting again, which is a real bummer. But, touch is life. I'll recover. And then we have Celadon Cat. This was in the other of this year's Diamine Fountain Pen Subreddit inks. A lot on there. I hope I'm spelling solid on right. <laughs> I went for a walk today to get a burger and I got there and I didn't even get a burger. I got a fried chicken sandwich and french fries <laughs> and I got home and I passed out. <laughs> I've had a really bad headache uh, last night and this morning so I woke up and my head is hurting much less than it was earlier so I'll take it. Impromptu nap, solved it. And I don't think I slept so much that my sleep will be disturbed tonight. I hope spring's eternal. Man, I I might put this in a pen. <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So I was like looking at my pens that are inked. I only had two pens inked. One of them had been inked for days. It was my grape. Um, all-Star Mini or whatever they're called. All-Star Mini, Maria? Really? Twisby Mini. Anyway, Twisby Mini and Grape with 
Amethyst de Luau, Luau and um, in my prospector. And I was like, so I have a purple ink and a pink ink. I don't have any blue inks. So I pulled out a blue pen. I'm like, okay, I gotta find an ink that goes with this. Like I was feeling the need to be matchy. So then I start flipping through my swatch cards and I notice, cause I make an, a note when I, swa when I use an ink. Um, and I noticed that I hadn't yet used Mombato's hat. So I was like, oh, why well, should use this ink? And then I'm like, Maria, and I, and I found a pen and I put it in there. I'm like, Maria, that's a purple ink. Why aren't you trying to use a blue ink? And I was like, oh, right, right. I did have that idea. Whoops. So now I have two purple inks. <laughs> and a pink. And the funny part is, is I like, I also was like, man, I don't have, I, I kind of wanted to use a particular pen, but then I was like, wait, I don't have any Twisby Ecos inked up. How is this even possible? Um, well, now we have a tale of great woe. It's fine. I can hear my neighbor's television. Can you hear it? Oh, they have a cat, and their cat is sitting on their windowsill right now. And from this distance, the cat looks like poop <laughs> You get a better appreciation for Romeo and Juliet when you realize that they're like 14. Well, Juliet is. He's a little older. I'm bummed that I didn't do these two next to each other, but I should have known that if she gave me Juliet, she'd give me Romeo. I love that the, the Romeo color is a bit moody. That feels appropriate. He was a Marty fella. Good job, Marie. I didn't swear. So I've been consumed with video games lately. I'm playing one called Returnal, where you die a lot. Well, <laughs> where I die a lot. I'm having a good time with it, despite the dying a lot. And then I'm also addicted to a game called Spin Rhythm XD, which is a rhythm game. Yeah. Turns out I just kind of really love rhythm games. Like, they just kind of get me. Now we have, um, Amanda, you know me so well. At least, you know, you know my ink tastes. Because here we have, is this filled all the way to the top or is it just coating it? Van Diemen's Feline Tortoise Shell. Look at, there's like a slick there. I'm gonna have to go play this song again. It's in my head, okay. Ooh, this looks so gorgeous. I think this is the one that kind of went everywhere. I felt <laughs> I was watching her video when the accidental nap started, so. It's tortoise, right? Yeah. Tortoise shell. 
those of you who haven't seen her video, you might be like, wow, black? Really? Hmm. Meow. Speaking of Romeo and Juliet, who here likes Shakespeare? <laughs> I really liked Much Ado About Nothing. The film version is amazing with uh, Kenneth Branagh and what's her name? Sorry, everything's escaping me. It's usually one of the like after effects <laughs> of a migraine. In trouble with words. Who else is in that? Oh, look at it. Beautiful. I don't know why this is called tortoise shell. Because, like, I don't think tortoise shell cats are purple. But, who am I to question the artistic genius of Van Diemen's? Oh man, the other night, last night, we were bonding over the movie Better Off Dead. I'm curious, have you seen it? Do you know it? It's brilliant. It's from the 80s. And it has the guy who played Booger in the nerds movies. Which is funny because, like, I don't really remember. Wait, isn't that him? Anyway, I don't really remember the nerds movies. And they're not really that appropriate. But, like, I remember that he played Booger. And the last color here is Mad Half Hour. And John Cusack, did I say it had him in it? And then this one kid who I think was in um, that show, Head of the Class. Good job, Maria. Good job. You did it. I didn't do it. Maybe I'll get a light or something. My light's at my desk. Like my portable light. Like set up and plugged in and out of the way. Okay, we're swatched, and it's drying. I'll go get a lamp. We'll pause, I'll get a lamp, we'll come back, and look at them when they're drier than they are now. Okay, we're back. Um, well, you never left. And neither did I. I was here the whole time. Who said I wasn't? Um, the swatches are mostly dry. The window's open. You know, they're, they'll dry. So, 
let's go. Here they are on some more river paper in the Hobonichi Weeks. Let's see. Is that shimmer coming through? Mm hmm. So we have Juliet, Sailor's Warning, Celadon Cat, which is so inaccurate. It's ridiculous. It's. It reminds me a bit of Petrichor, my version of Petrichor. Romeo. Why is he Romeo? Or Juliet's word, wherefore art thou Romeo? Tortoise shell. And not quite dry yet. Mad half hour. Stunning. I'm seeing shimmer in tortoise shell. And that was with my automatic pen, so I don't think it's like, yeah, it's not contamination. So, Juliet. Okay, so I found the color that it reminded me of. Wistful watermelon. They're not dissimilar. I mean, this obviously has shimmer, but they're not dissimilar. But, you know. And then, let's look at Romeo, obviously. Moody. I don't know that I have anything like it. The one thing that came to mind was something like um, polar lights, but it's not the right colors. And this is cool, whereas polar lights is warm. Honestly, these two are like besties or worsties. Maybe this is could be mercurial. He bites his thumb at polar lights. So there's our little star-crossed lovers. Deny thy father. Sorry. Uh, and then, Sailor's Warning. And I thought it looked orangey. And here's the interesting thing. So I put it next to Sindor, which is a very orangey color. But it's cooler than that. If we put it next to like red dragon, you can see it looks way more orange, right? So it straddles that line pretty well. Plus it has that like blue shimmer that I I think it reads as pink in here. It's nice, but I don't know that I'll buy any. Despite it being like a thing that I've done. Sell it on cat. I do like this. Um, I looked for some comparisons. Here is Sailor Yurameku Itazora. This is more green. Venta Peria. Peria. Which is more blue. Um, here somewhere. Petrichor. Dirtier. Sailor Ink Studio 224. These look pretty similar. This is bluer, but... Eroded blondes, blondes, eroded blondes is brewer. So 
There are the two Reddit inks. I don't think I'll buy either. I definitely have colors. Petrichor and 224 are going to scratch this itch. So it is good to see, like, I mean, this was not diamine shtick for, like, a long time. So it's nice that they're doing stuff like this. I mean, then they did with, like, the thingy and the other thing. You know, the fruits. Then we have the feline collection. We got Mad Half Hour and Tortoise Shell. These base colors are different, but they're pretty similar. <laughs> so this is a sort of a pretty common violety lilac-y color with a green sheen. Um, but with shimmer in it, so... next to like Pillars of Creation. That's darker. Honestly, that looks like the Polar Lights, doesn't it? Or Tricolori Gold Sheen Violet. This is pretty similar too. Um, and actually this is supposed to come with a shimmer in it, but I opted for without it. So I could probably have gotten like that exact ink had I wanted it. Um, and then here's like all the best, which is more of a berry. And so this one is a similar color, but it doesn't have that sheen. If it sheens, it's a almost black and the shimmer in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's funny because of all these, I'm like, mm, I want to put that in a pen. And then it's like, Maria, you have two purple inks in pens right now. I'm holding out, you know, and ink up new pens in August. I don't know why I make these arbitrary rolls. It's pretty close to Mysterium. The base color. Yeah. But Mysterium lacks the, the dark bits. And of course, the shimmer. If you want to see it next to Mombato's hat, this is purpler, as is Royal Starfish. So, let's give a big, huge thank you to Amanda for enabling this. And a huge thank you to Amanda for being in friend and inspiration to us all. <laughs> I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.